And a very good morning. It is Monday, April 30th. I'm Lisa Spitz. Thanks for joining us. I'm Anthony Adornado. Hey there, old pal. It is very good <laughs> to be here with you, Anthony. And the reason why I'm here is because Megan is officially a mom. Exciting She's on news, maternity right? leave right now. She has a very, very cute new baby. We're going to introduce you to that baby. That's a tease right there. Mm -hmm. A little bit later on in our show. But first, let's check in with Pete with a first look at that forecast. Hi, Pete. Hey, Lisa and Anthony. A gorgeous sunrise ongoing right now. Well, temperatures this afternoon are going to be a lot better. Right now, we do have hard freeze conditions outside, so farmers and gardeners, hope you took the precautions. The last three mornings, right, the last three nights, that is, we've had similar conditions with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. Here's some up-to-date numbers for you as you go outside this morning. It is definitely a goosebumps and shivery start. We're in the upper 20s, lower 30s, just about everywhere, though Fairmount's 35. East Syracuse, Manoa, 30. Fenner, 30. Manly is 33. 26 in Central Square, 28 in Clay. It's even, ooh, oh man, 22 in Sherburne, 25 in Norwich. Got a thick frost in spots too. Frosty in Westdale and Redfield. Frosty in Pulaski. Old Forge and Westdale in the lower 20s right now as well. So, bus stop. At least it's beautiful looking, but it's also freezing feel in those 20s and 30s. Mid 40s by mid morning. But mid 60s to finish. That's a better finish of the day. That 65, by the way, is right where we're supposed to finish of the last day of April, although we'll have some extra clouds by then. Eventually, we do have some rain in the forecast. We'll describe that and a much warmer weather pattern in the seven day coming up.